it shouldn't be joke with for any reason any kind of force that is limiting us from doing the things that we have been doing then probably hold yourself responsible but listen and listen attentively we cannot sit put and watch our people die for no reason but again let my word sound as an encouragement for some of you that have lost hope in the pursuit of biafra biafra will come i don't know how to convince you guys but you see biafra biafra will definitely come and why is going to come in a way that we don't even imagined in a way that we don't even uh, uh, uh think of it's because when it eventually comes it needs to shock a lot of people including our enemies those who feel that these guys are, are busy gallivanting making unnecessary noise you need to equally understand that we have moved we have really moved on and the gospel truth remains is that nothing can stop this very this very job that we are doing so let's get our first straight. this man a uniform that has refused to let our leader your leader my leader to have peace of mind will eventually see the very outcome when the need arises so i don't think we should we should worry about them no what i what i need us to worry more about now is the biafra that is coming and how we are going to handle this very mission to the last day on earth it's very very important point so forgive me because <clears throat> and the more we go the more things will be made clear to each and every one of us the more things go the more things will be revealed to every one of us but let's be patient because the patient dog you know good news are beginning to flow in from different angles when it has to do with biafra actualization biafra restoration and biafra movement we have been waiting for a signatory from the third country which will now be one of the biggest evidence to prove that we Biafrans cannot be intimidated not anymore for quite long now we have been fighting through so many stores and uh, from the caption of the this team i just said their friends have gotten support from third country a signature has been signed follow me as i unravel things you see <clears throat> in 2021 probably yeah 2021 mazin Ambikan was kidnapped from kenya where he went to do one or two function and since then 
he has been held captive because the Nigerian government fear him. I believe that the more this guy is, al is allowed to roam about, the more he will spoil so many things for them. So he was already getting to their nerves. Now, Nigerian government shamefully, <coughs> sorry, shamelessly went to Kenya with private jets to bring a man who is far away, more than thousands of kilometers away from them, just because they needed to prove a point. But behind their, behind their house, or at the back of their house, kidnappers have been lavishing Abuja. Yet, they couldn't even fly common helicopter to free the captives. This is to tell you that there's a hidden agenda going on in secret that Nam Dekano has been trying to review. But of course, Edra and Ife, Edra falls on Edra and Ife. That's what some people are up to now. Edra falls on Edra and Ife. And I have got those on on the That is what is happening now. You see, for a very long time, as Nam Dekano has surrounded himself with learned people who know who knows what's up. We we'll talk about what's up. Those who truly know what's up. Our right for freedom has become something that if we continue to play about it, the coming generation will definitely take us on serious. Believe you me. The coming generation will really take us on serious. And that's where it should begin. That is exactly the point it should begin. From correcting things that should be corrected and putting them in the right order. Believe you me, we have come a long way to begin to listen to gossip. It's for a reason. Now, this third country we are talking about is a powerful country that once their signature is, is seen, it shows that we have jumped to another level. But I will advise each and every one of us to be guided because I'm still about to reveal so much that you don't even know that is going on. Biafra is a spirit and shouldn't be joked with, of course. 